If you're anything like me, Instagram plays a very pivotal role in your online business. But it's so hard to keep up with the latest trends and algorithm changes, so developing a perfect marketing strategy can be very difficult. But don't worry, in this video, I'm gonna be going over the best marketing strategy for 2022 so you stay on top of the curve. What's going on guys, Alex here. And in today's video, I wanna be going over some techniques and strategies that are gonna be perfect for any service-based entrepreneur that's using Instagram for their online business. This is gonna be great for influencers, affiliate marketers, service-based people, literally anyone that uses Instagram to get more leads into their business. It's so important that you stay on top of these trends when they come. And I've developed over the last couple of weeks some important strategies that will dominate 2022. So it's important you get on the curve now. All right, so let's get straight into the video. I'm gonna be going over a couple Couple different techniques but one of my favorite sleeper technique is going to be towards the end of the video so make sure you watch until the end so let's go into one of the biggest roles that's going to play it into developing more leads into your business it's video content and primarily reels on instagram so it's no secret reels are taking over it's instagram's way of competing with tiktok and it's so important to be creating video content on your profile to bring in new leads and unfortunately not enough people are utilizing reels yet and i'm telling you it's going to change how you generate leads i primarily have been able to grow an instagram account to over 38,000 in a couple of months with just reels which was never possible before but the technique with reels is you want to focus on making niche specific content with the latest trends that pop up every week now, I know that can be kind of exhausting trying to find new trends every single week, but all you essentially need to do is just scroll through Instagram for about 15 minutes every day and just jot down some common trends that you're seeing repeat, save those audios and, and make it in your own format, in your own niche. So whether you're doing real estate, social media managing, affiliate marketing, any type of influencer marketing, keto diet, whatever it is that you do, save those sounds and find a unique and creative way to make content in your own niche. I can't stress how important it is to make niche specific content on Reels because Instagram has its own algorithm for video content and it's actually very effective. So if you do a good enough job of interacting with people and making content that people wanna see, you're gonna pop up on people's For You page or Explore page a lot more consistently, and this is gonna to lead to exponential growth over time. It's important to curate your own unique messaging in your videos, focus on, on embodying what your, your profile and your services offer. So. What I basically mean by that is use your own unique brand, make your content very unique to whatever it is that you're teaching and offering. And I, I guarantee that those videos will start to be optimized and over a period of time, you're gonna get more people into your business that love what you're doing. Your profile is an extension of your business. You can think of it like a landing page. And in the next slide, I'm gonna be showing you how to optimize your profile for more leads because video content is so prevalent, you're gonna be having a lot of people coming through your profile. So it's important that you optimize your profile and this new technique and strategy that I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna break down four techniques and strategies you need to use to optimize your profile. And then I'm gonna show you a perfect example of a person doing this as well. And I'm gonna show you number four in a second. And let's start off with the headline. That first line right there is super important. That's the first line people see when they visit your profile. So it's in important that you're putting exactly what your services offer so they know exactly exactly what they are getting when they follow you. The second line is how you plan to help and provide value to those individuals that follow you and want to potentially invest in your services. So strict to the point, simple and, and to the point is very important for that second line. Um, however it is that you plan on helping people. Um, the third line is social proof. You want to provide what kind of credentials or accomplishments you've achieved or how you plan on use, using those um, accomplishments or credentials to help others as well and then if i move my camera over here you'll see that call to action is the fourth line telling people exactly what to do click the the link down below to get started or join my community and i'm gonna show you a profile that does this perfectly so here's a perfect example of profile optimization the small business handbook here olivia does a great job of starting off that first line telling you exactly what her services offer she then provides how she plans on helping those type of people that need her services she has a little bit of social proof here six-figure business owner and then of course a call to action telling you exactly what to um, do right click the 
the link down below for a free ebook or a free ebook down here uh, with the nice emojis there. So that's super important. And one of the more important things for 2022 that Instagram is trying to take more seriously is SEO. Um, SEO is very important. And as you can see here, she uses the, the phrase small business and small business tips in her name. So when people type that into Instagram, that's going to actually start to be more and more prevalent. Um, so it's important that in your name as well, you have whatever your niche is. So um, keto coach, um, YouTube manager or social media manager, whatever the case may be, make sure you have that in there because SEO over the next course of the next few months will be very, very important to Instagram. Also, while we're here, be sure to follow my brand new Instagram account, coach underscore Alex Rob. I'm going to be going over a lot of techniques and strategies anytime i learn anything new on instagram and i'm trying to blow up my new instagram page up so definitely shoot me a follow um, i'm going to be testing a new strategy and doing myself myself a, a little bit of a challenge actually so give me a follow and let's see how fast i can grow this instagram account so next up on the new strategies for 2022 is carousels now i know carousels are not anything new but the way we use carousels is going to change as time goes on and by far one of the more important things you should be focusing on is implementing videos inside your carousels now if we take a look at one of my favorite influencers brock johnson um, he does a great job with his carousels and if you're not using carousels please do it's a way more interesting way of presenting information to people but if you notice on the first slide here he has a gif of himself this is going to be considered a video and this is what's going to be really important going forward is having those animated gifs those videos in your carousels because once again video content is dominating right now so it's so important to be utilizing that but this is a new technique and strategy i know it's very simple but trust me when i say if you're a coach if you have a product or service and you can find a way to make a gif and have it on your the front cover of your carousel it will invite more views and ultimately get more people to click on your um, your carousels on the explore page because right now if you go on the explore page images are just you know stationary and static and that's kind of boring now as we know consuming video content is king but if you make a carousel with a little bit of a moving object like he's doing here um, that's going to be so important to getting more eyeballs and more clicks onto your your carousels and your your video content so real really important small but it makes the differences right these are the things that ultimately if you can get on top of those while you can will make the big changes right so he um he's going over trendy audios to use in this carousel but you're going to see someone dancing like this and click it right you're way more likely to click it so basically, in other words, text is not enough. Um, and I'm kind of blocking it right here, but text is not enough these days, right? You really got to have some kind of motion, some type of video inside your, your content as well. All right, guys, so you stayed into the end of the video. And because of that, I'm going to be going over a strategy that I really, really love and I think is going to blow up in the near future. I'm almost positive it will. So recently, Instagram released that link stickers will be for everyone, meaning Everyone can put links in their bios or in their story, rather their story posts, whenever they're, you know, they're posting something. And whenever someone, whenever everyone gets access to something, the value of that product or that, that function goes down, right? So now that everyone's using link stickers, I don't think it's going to necessarily have a negative effect ultimately, but now it's just going to be so much more common. We have to find a new and unique way to use them. And although this isn't going to be something out of the park, I think it's something to look forward to. It's so important now how we utilize our IG stories, right? If we go to my profile here, I'm going to be using it soon. But how we use the story feature, the highlight feature is going to be very important because anyone can use the sticker instead of just placing it in your story for 24 hours and then that be it all. It's so important to now start utilizing these highlight stories and use it for ways to do storytelling if you um, are a coach or service based um you know service-based provider and business owner so that is so important how you utilize it and essentially what i would recommend you guys do if you have a product if you have a, an offer or something like that use your highlight stories to kind of tell a little bit of a story and at the end have that call to action that sticker button there telling people to tap this button here um, i think it's going to be a new and unique way to start using utilizing highlight stories because that tap a sticker is going to be there in replacing the swipe up feature that is no longer here so just some food for thought there highly recommend you guys do that don't don't 
be surprised if everyone starts doing this and you're like saying, man, I should have listened to Alex. Um, so definitely give that a try. These are just some new strategies that you should be using in your online business. All right guys, so with that being said, I hope this video left you with some more high value information. If anything I said you enjoyed, definitely like that button down below and also comment down below if you have any questions or concerns. And one last thing, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Every single week I provide high value video on how you can use social media to grow your online business. So you definitely don't wanna miss it. With that being said, see you guys all next time. Take care.